So how the memory is uh, used by the system, right? So I'm talking about dialog work process first. So whenever I had to process something, I'm going to use the role area first. I told you the first component of the role area. So I will do my processing here. Then if this one gets filled up, then I will use the extended memory. But I may have uh, a quota in the extended memory or the extended memory is full. Then I have to use the balance of my roll area. That means roll area total minus roll area first is the balance. So I use that one. But if that also get filled, then I start using the private memory. But if I am using an, if I am doing the same thing for a non-dialog work process, first it will do the role area same. Then it won't go to extended memory. It will go go and use the entire role area. So that means at the beginning the entire role area is used. When the entire role area is used, and if it get filled, then it will go to private memory. Hello, sorry, I missed it. I guess something. I just came back. I had dinner too. So. Oh, you came late. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. I can okay. Let me just try and okay, I'll repeat again. Let me finish. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So we'll check the memory usage pattern, how the memory is used by the dialog work process. So I'm doing uh, the dialog work process is starting to do some processing. So first it uses the role area first. That is role first. So it will use that if everything is fine, okay. But if it is not enough, then it will use the extended memory. But extended memory, uh, this particular person or this particular person have only a limited area reserved, maybe quota is there. So if the quota is finished or if the extended memory is full, then it has to start using the balance part of the role area. So I had the role area first and the total role area, then whatever total role area minus this one is the balance part of the role area. So I will use that. If that also get filled, then I will come back to my local memory and use the private memory. Then I will go to brief mode, TRIV mode, that is private mode. Then nobody can use that work process. But if I do the same, if I check the same thing for a non-dialog work process, first the entire role area is used. If the role area is full, then the private memory is used. If that is also full, then extended memory is used. Okay, so this is the difference between dialog work process and non-dialog work process with regards to memory usage. I told you. Why is why is the why is the difference difference? Sorry, in the okay. previous slide, yeah. Yeah. Why is that difference? Yeah, because uh, dialog work process do, does work process multiplexing, right? So it has to it has to carry the information uh, from here to the extra, to the shared memory and then bring it based on that. Based on that, it does this way, okay? Because user requests are handled by this, and one dialog work, multiple dialog work processes are used for one uh, SAP transaction. For that purpose, it has to operate like that. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Actually, right. Mm -hmm. Extended extended memory mm -hmm. is in the shared, right? Shared area. In the shared area. Right. So in the non-dialog, I'm thinking like if batch is a background mm -hmm. job is a non-dialog. Mm -hmm. So it uses the role and role two. 
then goes to the private. Private is again within the work process. Which is in the work process, okay. yeah. Which is, so then once everything available in the work process, then it goes to the shared area in the batch. But in this case, it will still keep some something. Yeah. Okay. So I will. Yeah. Uh, okay, I told you, it will go from the uh, from this area, from role area to external memory, right? So external memory, I uh, there's a parameter which sets the amount of extended memory that can be used by this work process. Sorry, one more question. Yeah. yeah but we didn't say the heap area. We didn't say when uh, because. Here in this case, let's say dialogue work process after private area, it uses the heap area, right? Oh, oh there this is the, this is the heap area. This is the heap area. Is this is the heap. You have one more here, though, at the bottom. Ah, no, that is a parameter. Don't worry about that now. That is a parameter. No, above, above that, above that. Like, that is yeah, a parameter. Right. Parameter. Oh, okay. Yeah, these are all parameters, right? Don't worry about that now. Yeah. So which one is the heap area? Private memory is the heap area? Private memory is the heap area. This is the, actually what they are saying is, uh, this is the parameter which sets the size of this. Okay, so for this particular this thing, we are having one size. For this, we have a smaller size. Here we have another big size like that. So it varies from, it can vary from work process to work process. Okay. Yeah. But here we said heap area dia. Here we say heap area non dia. Okay. So both are talking about private memory, but this is for dialogue work process. This is for non-dialogue work process. Non yeah. And also we have a parameter, the entire this area, entire this area, okay, or everything, all of there, or all of this uh, private memory, is called heap area total. Uh -huh. Clear? Yeah. Okay. So this this is called is a TTA role extension. If I am using role area first and coming to the shared memory, extended memory or shared memory in this case is the very shared memory, then I will I will be allocating I will be allocated certain amount of memory in the extended memory based on this parameter. Based on this parameter. Okay. This parameter is called is a TTA role extension. Okay. Uh, so this role extension is part of extended memory. Is that what? It's part extended. of extended memory. There may be is a role extension for this and this. This all total together is the extended memory shared. Extended memory. Oh. But this extended memory is made up of many components like that. So obviously this should be bigger than this. And this is this. This is this. Oh, EM. Okay, initial yeah, size. extended memory, initial size in megabytes. That is the parameter, right? If you need to that is the parameter, yeah. Like last time you showed when we went to the system. Uh, was it yeah, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you again, then you'll understand better. Yeah. Okay. In case, in case this particular dialogue work process is used by this guy and went to heap heap uh, uh, privilege mode, if it goes to privilege mode, nobody can use it. Right. Okay. So if all the work process go to privilege mode, then what will happen? Uh, no other user. Yeah, that again, log in. Log in. So that is very bad situation. Right. So I revise the memory usage pattern for dialogue work process once again. Okay. So I'm repeating what I told before in a different way. Okay. So dialogue work process will first access the role area first. Then it will go to extended memory. If the extended memory is used up or limit is exceeded, 
then it will go to roll area 2 that is the balance part of the roll area if that is also used up then it will go to private memory so private memory getting filled up when you go to preview mode nobody can use now what happens is we have a parameter here which says uh, after this size you have to you have to restart the uh, work process so that is set so until that private memory limit is reached right that will keep on using the private memory so when that is reached there are two components so I'll go to the next screen and I will explain to you not next screen sometime later so what I'm saying here is first it will go to role area then extended memory then role area 2 then it will go to private memory this is for dialogue so role area this is the parameter okay this is the parameter to set the value of this plus this okay this plus this plus role area this role first is this parameter role extension is the amount of extended memory this work process can use that is role extension extended memory initial size is this above heap limit is the maximum heap memory size I did not understand.